Hello, my name is Luz and in this video I'm going to show you how I use vintage textiles and vintage handkerchiefs that I have thrifted for a long time to make this cute little patchwork cushion cover and the back. They are all made with um, um, handkerchiefs, vintage handkerchiefs that I thrifted here in Amsterdam although they come from Germany, the handkerchiefs themselves and also um, some pieces of uh, um, men's shirts and other textiles. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's get into it. I first start with these lovely handkerchiefs. I fold them in half and cut and then fold again and cut. So I cut each one of them in four pieces. I really like the corners laced on these uh, handkerchiefs so I laid them up as you can see here I think I put six pieces in total and then I stitched them across to keep them in peace I think I went ahead and I stitched them uh, a couple of more stitches just to keep them in place I really like this, uh, uh, these corners I use a square template that I have to cut a little block for myself. I end up making two of these blocks. And then I started building up the cushion cover by working in a um, block uh, cabin type of uh, block, patchwork block, uh, but using pieces of fabric and stitching it across just to basically make a bigger block, that's all. I press as I go along, it makes it better, neater work. There's a lot of me checking out what to do next, putting textiles together, see what I wanted to do. For instance, in here, I wanted to put a background to this cute little lace um, so I went for the softest pink of the shirts that I had and the stitch all around um, minus one of the sides. Um, I don't really have a particular plan, I just go ahead and stitch as I go along and see what I do, what, how I like it. The same principle here in the block cabin, I think it's called the block. That's what I do. I try to uh, um, finish all the raw edges and, um, and then I go ahead and put things together and see how they go together, whether I need to add any other piece, whether I like to have a different combination. It really very much is um, trying and error and see what I like together. And basically build down the block until it's big enough for the cushion. Always trying to figure out uh, what textiles go together with what textiles, uh, what colors go together. Just basically trying an error and see what you like the most. Um, I really can't teach how I do that. I can just show my thought process or, or the lack of it sometimes. <laughs>
So I really like the edges of the handkerchiefs um, and I just wanted to use as much as possible. So I layered a few of them, I think three here, and uh, yeah, three, and then I just stitched them together um, because I just like the texture of them and how they look together. So I stitched them um, to each other and then I basically used them to build up the block, as you can see here. I just go ahead and stitch this other one at the bottom and uh, cut the excess. Um, I'm keeping all the scraps so I can always do something else with them. So here finally I am uh, happy with the composition. I'm just putting all the pieces together and um, trying to figure out how to stitch them uh, the best possible way. Um, this is much harder than obviously having a plan to start with. Um, for instance, in here, I show you I'm only stitching halfway through because I want to keep um, the edges of uh, the white handkerchiefs and the lace um, on top of the cushion. So here I fold a top stitch to um, the top part of the cushion. And then, as you can see here now, I fold it and stitch that piece down. Um, for most part, I don't chop the fabrics um, underneath because the fabrics are very thin. Um, just having an extra padding is fine. So you can see here, I stitch it all together. I just go ahead and cut the edges a little bit um, just to clean up and have a perfect square. And um, I'm almost done now actually. So to make the bag, um, I just use a shirt, it's folding in half, and uh, I use my piece as a template to cut two pieces. There are like, let's say, two thirds of the length of my top. Um, basically what I'm creating here is an envelope closure, which means that you have two pieces of fabric, as you can see here, I then roll one of the longest edges uh, twice um, and top stitch to finish both ends and I do this with both pieces and um, I just stitch it uh, to create an envelope so in here you can see I put two um, the uh, right sizes together and then I stitch it oh here I'm showing you that I wanted to keep all the scallops of uh, the white handkerchiefs uh, showing so I fold them over to make sure that I don't stitch in it and in here I'm not stitching it In here I'm leaving it open and then um, I stitch it once I turn uh, the cushion around I'll show you in a minute So here I just show you how I stitch um, the scallops. I do it from the right side so they don't get pinned by the seams. I hope this makes sense. This is a little bit more fiddly, but it actually is worth it. I think it makes the cushion much nicer, much cuter.
that's it. I hope you enjoy it. I um, generally enjoy doing this piece, these uh, squares you saw in the video, how I folded the, the corners of the um, handkerchiefs to make this braised uh, patchwork um, piece and also how I use the edges in here. I particularly love them too, but I also like these edges here. I also um, am very happy the way these corners end up being to make to be able to make them standing up the little um, lace. I'm really happy with that, and the fact that it's all irregular. Um, um, I'm trying to put a picture so you can actually see how it looks. Um, I really enjoyed this uh, making this. Uh, it's, it's a lovely, lovely uh, cushion cover. I have a bigger one now that I showed you in the previous uh, video, and then I have this one. And uh, but I still have quite a, quite a few. I have a few more in my table. I have uh, quite a few more uh, textiles. So I'm thinking. I might do um, an extra cover like this one, but just with the uh, vintage um, handkerchiefs because I really like the lace. I, I really like the little embroidery. Um, so I might, I might have a go at just doing like a white one with a different cover at the back, a different blue, uh, a different pink. Maybe, maybe this soft pink one here. I really like it. Um, yeah, I, I think this is a cute little project. Uh, my patchwork is a little bit chaotic, it's definitely not, um, you wouldn't come to see what I do um, to make perfect patchwork uh, blocks the way you would in another channel. This is all about improv, this is all about having fun, this is all about see what looks better where, this is all about composing a little collage piece see what the balances are what you like it um, this is all about having fun with fabrics the same way you could paint with colors i do that with fabric um so if this is something that you like please subscribe and uh, like the the video i will be bringing many different types of videos in the future not only just patchwork other type of sewing i'm learning to so my own wardrobe and and i've made quite a few coats and other pieces like dresses and other stuff and uh, i might want to show you i also knit and crochet mostly crochet and i have a massive stash of uh, blankets that i've made because i love making blankets so i might show you what i've done and i also saw um different type of uh, things like this bag there is also in my um, uh, YouTube channel. I put a link to it um, in the description. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope to see you soon. Until next time, bye.